when lunch fights back. A peacock mantis shrimp's punch isn't just fast. It's so powerful, it can crack the rock-hard shells of snails and other animals the mantis shrimp eats. Working at Duke University, Patek designed experiments to measure the power of that punch. She tricked a mantis shrimp living in an aquarium into punching an instrument that measures the force of a blow. The technical term is impact force. Patek recorded mantis shrimps punching punches again again. She could hardly believe the results. The mantis shrimp typically struck the instrument with well over 200 pounds of force. The hammer impact is massive, she says. These animals are producing thousands of times their body weight in peak impact force. As far as I know, this still holds the record as the highest force generation of any organism that has been measured on the planet. A peacock mantis shrimp cracks a snail's shell with a blow from one of its hammers. Rows of aquariums are home to mantis shrimp in Sheila's, Sheila's Patek's lab at Duke University. The glass wall of an aquarium in Roy Caldwell's lab shatters as peacock mantis shrimp delivers a powerful punch. Patek has been punched by different species of mantis shrimp quite a few times. What does it feel like? Being punched is not so bad. It feels like a bee sting. She says, rows of aquariums line Patek's laboratory. They are home to dozens of smasher-type mantis shrimp that technically can hit hard enough to break glass. I've never had any mantis shrimp break our aquariums, Patek admits. They don't normally strike the glass unless provoked. So obviously, we try to avoid that behavior. In other words, in Patek's lab full of mantis shrimp, nobody taps on the glass.